And one particular strategy that is now very exciting and promising is a technique called cueing. The automaticity in the brain is destructed in Parkinson's disease, so patients have lost the ability to do things automatically and walking is something we don't normally think about. But when patients who have severe difficulties walking, and particularly when they have a symptom called freezing of gait, some mysterious phenomenon where the feet are literally glued to the floor and patients are unable to make effective forward stepping, these patients, even when they are severely debilitated, can still walk when they look at objects on the floor or when they listen to particular signals. And these visual or auditory signals act as an external cue. Now, if you just take visual cueing, which is what patients find one of the most effective strategies, the essence is the foot touches the floor and it triggers a laser beam attached to the nose of the shoe, so it projects a transverse stripe on the floor so that the foot can purposely step over the laser beam and when the other foot hits the floor the story repeats itself. And it's beautiful for two reasons. One is it's something you can carry with you so you have it everywhere in the shop, in the house, in the theater. And it's custom made because it's adjusted to your own stride length. So it's perfect for each individual patient rather than a standardized intervention. My name is Bas Bloem. I'm a professor of movement disorder neurology at the Radboud University Medical Center in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. I am also uh, uh, the secretary-elect for the Movement Disorder Society, the largest and most influential organization in our field. I'm also on the executive scientific advisory board for the Michael J. Fox Foundation. And I'm very passionate about Parkinson's disease. I think it is, um, uh, it's a common disease, it's a debilitating disease. But in many ways, it's almost strange to say it's a fascinating disease. And it's fascinating because on the one hand, particular areas in the brain are destructed, which means that patients face severe difficulties in their mobility. And at the same time, and we know this from rich experience, anecdotes, but also science, that patients can compensate for their deficits.